What follows in the chapters ahead is all of the information you need to successfully register and license your experimental amateur built aircraft. We will start with an overview of the process, the big picture if you will, and then we'll drill down into the explanation of the details for each step. We'll show you the government forms that are required at each step and how to fill them out and discuss the common mistakes that can occur. There are just three major steps you need to learn to successfully license your experimental amateur built aircraft. First, reserve your N number. That's of course the number you're going to display on your plane. This is so easy to do that I'm going to show you how to choose your own number right in your home using your computer. This is a step you perform right now regardless of where you are in the building process. Step two, register your aircraft. When you know your home built is within a few months of completion, you are ready for this step. What is required here is simply filling out two or three forms. We'll talk about each one and how to fill them out. This is the stage where your aircraft becomes officially recognized by the government. You will receive confirmation by mail when this step is completed. And last step three, have your plane inspected. When your plane is 100% complete, you're going to submit a few more forms, one of which is your application for a special airworthy certificate. This will request an FAA designated inspector to visit and check out your aircraft, after which you will receive your final papers that will allow you to fly. We'll review the details of this inspection and the forms necessary to complete this final step. Here is the FAA web address that will start the journey for choosing your own N number. This address takes us to a page with a wide variety of online customer services for aircraft owners. The link that we are interested in is the Interactive Aircraft Inquiry website. Click on this link to begin the process. There are many different ways to inquire into the FAA's N number database. When you are about three months from completing construction of your aircraft, you should think about the registration process. This major step consists of carefully filling out forms and submitting them to the FAA in Oklahoma for approval. Upon approval, you will receive in the mail Form 8050-3, which is your permanent aircraft registration card. You must have this card before your plane can be inspected, which is major step three. Before we move to our next form, we need to make a decision about your home building. Are you building from plans or are you building a kit? This is an important distinction in the registration process as this will determine the forms that are required to be submitted. If building from plans, then you only need form 8050-88 Affidavit of Ownership for Amateur Built Aircraft or its equivalent. This form should be found in your Amateur Built Aircraft Certification Package. Five documents need to be prepared in order to request your inspection. First, the permanent aircraft registration card, 8050-3, that the FAA sent you. An application for a special airworthiness certificate, 8130-6. The eligibility statement, 8130-12, here you're going to certify that you in fact built this aircraft. 
the operating limitations document is unique in that it has two phases. The first phase requires that you fly your new home built in the test area. Remember that you requested this when filling out the program letter. Once you have acquired all four of these documents, you are able to fly your home built. You can remember these four documents with the acronym AERO. Each year, your new aircraft requires what is known as an annual condition inspection. This inspection must be performed by a licensed A&P aircraft mechanic or the original builder of the plane if that builder obtains an amateur builder's repairman certificate. The manufacturer of the kit I am building has gone out of business. How can I register my plane if I need to obtain a bill of sale from them? The FAA is aware of these situations as they understand the nature of home-built manufacturing and its inherent volatility. Builders should create a statement that documents the attempts to obtain a bill of sale and why those attempts were not successful.